Hey guys, it's Strutter here, February 25th, 2016, and I hear there's a job opening happening here somewhere in Vancouver related to some legal changes that happened yesterday, and uh, I'm applying for that job. Uh, the court ruled that patients can grow cannabis and make medicine from it now here in Canada. And you can see my video for details on that. I did the video yesterday of uh, the press conference. I was down there at the Vancouver Courthouse. And it's quite an interesting development. It was a surprise. It just came. <laughs> um, now this is not legalization as the Trudeau government has been talking about. This is um, it's a permission f uh, for patients that already have legal permission to use to grow their own and produce their own from uh, those plants to produce it into any kind of medicine they want to use from it uh, but it doesn't give additional people uh, a legalized route or legalized access to the medicine uh, that is still coming in Canada here um, but yesterday was a victory of course for patients and now we are able to grow our own cannabis and that is amazing especially for Medicaid and I that's my wife uh, as we have been living with my elderly grandmother here on the outskirts of Vancouver for a while and uh, we grew a massive crop of heirloom organic tomatoes here each year as we tended grandma's yard and ran the house gave her personal care. During that time we also been heavily involved in local activism and uh, this YouTube channel of course and fighting our health conditions including Medicaid's lifelong battle with cancer and yesterday's ruling is <laughs> I don't have to say it, an incredible step toward a greater goal that we've been fighting for and it would have meant a large section of this garden and the greenhouse around the corner would have been legally full of cannabis plants for medicine had grandma not died last month. There's the greenhouse. This property, not the old house, that'll just be bulldozed, but the land itself, only the land itself is worth well over a million dollars as is any house in this area. And uh, this will very soon be sold off and everything will be paved over for a McMansion like the others replacing everything here in this area as fiat currency flows in from China you may hear some hammering and sawing in the background as the sun dims the <laughs> work crew across the street is just finishing their work day over at another McMansion popping up so this means I have nowhere to live and it will be back to renting suites for me I've rented since I sold my last house almost 10 years ago though, so I'm used to that, it's okay. Vancouver's been the hardest and most expensive city in the world for renting in recent years, you've probably heard that. Um, and now any vacant spot is being taken by the government to house Syrian refugees. So there really isn't a closet under a thousand dollars a month, let alone somewhere with a garden. Going over the details of Canada's medical cannabis laws and yesterday's ruling, I realized that patients can legally designate someone else to grow and produce their medicine for them. Some patients are too sick or too busy to do it themselves, while others don't have the expertise to do the job, but still need access to properly grown medicine of the right strains, that they know how it was made and what was put into it or not put into it. Might I be the right person for that? I'm a longtime medical cannabis user myself, and I know cannabis from a medicinal, recreational, and cultural viewpoint. What the hell's with the planes going over while I'm trying to read? I'm an activist myself, fighting for liberty and patient rights. I have a long track record of growing organic heirloom tomatoes and other plants in a variety of methods and conditions. I understand the legal and financial aspects of the industry. I have a number of connections and friends to draw from. My education was in psychiatry, biology, and medicine as I worked as a nurse for 10 years before going into activism. I work very hard and I see results in the areas I set my sights on. 
So I am uniquely and perfectly suited for this, in my opinion. But I need a place to live within the Vancouver region and near public transit that has room to grow plants legally. I also need income to pay the rent on such a place and pay for the activism I intend to continue. An obvious solution is to work either my online business or for a company to pay the bills and to put any extra into activism and this channel. This has been working fairly well, but I feel like I could do so much more with a larger budget. Also, what's left over for activism is going to be very small from here on with the cost of renting in Vancouver. Another solution is to find a patient or patients that want to designate someone else to grow cannabis for them on their property. From seed to finished bud or concentrate, I have the skills, connection, and drive to make you the best medicine you've ever had. As the industry goes mainstream in Canada and huge corporations position themselves to make billions selling inferior product to sick people and trading their stock and lobbying to shut down small private gardens, I simply want to put my green thumb to work helping others and making enough currency to survive and to do my activism. I've lost lifelong friends, family members, a vehicle, even my home, and had friends taken to prison because of cannabis prohibition. But I'm on the right side of this, and I have been all along. I won't stop fighting for liberty and for the patients who need this plant to survive and give them quality of life, including myself and my sweet girl, Medicaid. Whether you're a friend of mine or somebody who's been watching for a while but we've never spoken, if you have something or know of something that might work for both you and I, please contact me. I may seem like a long shot, but the ruling yesterday is a major game changer, and this would be the start of incredible things for me and for the good I do through this channel. Thanks.